Okay, so it's that time of month again. I have to go and see if I can pick up my uh, equipment for <laughs> better hearing and better voice. It is a bit windy today, so it'll be a little bit loud. And I'll try and minimize that as much as I can. But this is a July update. Just give me a second here and I'll see if I can find it. The mosquitoes have been giving me a hard time. Uh, st still no help with the uh, PC for my studio software and studio. I have been asking for help but uh, nobody has been helping out and it's making my life a bit rough because I have to keep on putting out money that I don't actually have. is to say the least somewhat annoying I'm not sure that this is going to work but I'm going to try anyway um, it is July the end of July coming up most of the summer has gone by and it is a uh, it has got a life of its own Anyway, it is July, and um, I have been doing my monthly walks, or daily walks, and keeping up my physical condition quite a lot. Um, I have as you might have followed in the last preview uh, one, um, I have moved to a new location and into a new residence. And uh, for reasons that I cannot go into, I cannot divulge where exactly or what it looks like. Uh, I am personally a bit tired physically, uh, I'm also a bit tired psychologically but uh, it's not as bad as I would have expected, which I can be grateful for. What I do miss is the possibility to to uh, keep my music alive and doing things that make life easier uh, since I live alone and uh, long stretches of time without being able to uh, and react myself. 
makes me restless and then I have to go out and do lengthy walks like the one I'm on at the moment. I have been uh, just the other day I walked over 12 kilometers um, I'll try and remember to to put up a uh, mileage indicator on the screen here or the conversion whatever you want to call it for some odd reason my legs are very heavy today but uh, yesterday on the walk it was not half that bad and I could cover the distance without scrolling into things that made life hard um, I am currently in a new kind of status um, I could call it the in-between stage where the old situation meets the new situation personally and uh, I have to start thinking of uh, rebuilding how I think things through. Anyway, um, as far as YouTube is concerned, as far as YouTube is concerned, I have to being blown away because it seems as if we are getting a visit from the thunder department up up there as you can see it was an almost yesterday and they say it's going to rain tomorrow so that remains to be seen I'm going to uh, turn the camera around now and walk with it in front of me instead so that you can see exactly where I'm out and walking. So yeah, there we go. I'm not in, in the area where, where I live now. So. Just for fun thing. Here is a training equipment, outdoor training equipment. A so-called environmentally friendly thing. So Let's have a look see, shall we? Just to have an idea what I'm talking about. And this thing is heavy as bummers. And doing this this movement one-handed. It's pretty rough. That's just my right arm I'm using for that. And then uh, you have this thing. You can see what it is intended for.
and yet another one of these heavy things and then you have the T-bars over there and you have this one fun possibilities to strengthen up and get the cardio going a lady friend of mine <laughs> said oh this is going to be easy the one that I did was just my right arm and uh, it was like okay But she pulled it off eventually. It was just a matter of getting the technique right. Or as I say, the best how to. There's also another possibility for exercise where I'm walking. I'm going on. But there is a, a indoor swimming pool and in winter it is heated and keeps a comfortable level so that uh, you don't overheat in the water <laughs> it sounds a bit weird saying that but that's the way it is This uh, where I'm walking is uh, walking down towards a camping area and uh, into a nature reserve which I pass by every day on my walks. I haven't on the other hand been out to the uh, um, lookout point yet. I'll I'll get to it eventually. If not this year, I'll get to it next year. I still haven't got the go-ahead from the medical society or the medical hospital to push my limits. Quite as hard as some would expect. So yeah, that's the situation right now. I'm going to have to turn the camera around because uh, the camping area is uh, has a, a children's get together, and I don't like uh, having to log off my. Uh, equipment just because there are children involved. But um, I'll just pause for a few minutes and I'll get back to you. Okay, it seems like it is a dog exhibition or something like that. That is being done. But, but... Right, I'm walking into the, the nature reserve now.
It's actually a bird estuary. Or bird protection estuary. And also some historic things. A lot of spiders and a lot of flies and a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> A lot of these flying little hungry monsters, to be honest. This is the old soldier's, um, old soldier's home and uh, in a traditional barn for this area. Olihoges it's called in Sweden. Lodge. Maybe it's a good alternative in the English language. And then the Smith and Web Smith and Weapons Supply Depot. One way to keep the the grass levels on the undergrowth down in the immediate vicinity here is is um, keeping sheep inside the area and uh, having cleaned out so much trees and so on it has also led to a, a dampening of the amount of mosquitoes now they just need to clean out this area to get even better control over the mosquitoes as, as you can see a bit sheepishly and uh, this is an electrified fence and it's not very pleasant to pay a visit to. <laughs> I've tried it, yes. And, uh, so, here's the different uh, walk paths and what you can do. The mountain outlook hiking area, hiking road, routes and as you see the nature reserve the fun thing is that some people in this area where I'm living now are a little bit cheesed off Suddenly it just picked up and left. But that's the way it is. Aha, aha.